and make sure your arms still off the mat and just above the mat here to feel the gravity your hips working your hips in neutral and pull the belly button in now if you feel like you cannot really keep your back in neutral position here then just feel free to do one leg at a time and then change to the other side we're gonna do it three more times with your own breath so inhale and exhale Xin chào, welcome to Pilates with Hena and welcome to day 22 of the 30 days of Pilates Self Journey and today we are going to take care of ourselves in a Pilates way by strengthening our whole body including the upper body, the hips and the lower body so if you're ready, just roll your mat and let's begin Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to sit tall with your back in neutral. Pull the belly button in, chest open and shoulders down. I want you to close your eyes, inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And a couple more times with your own breath. So inhale. And exhale. Put your hands on your rib cage and pull the belly button all the way in. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. Very good. Keep breathing. And one more deep breath. And exhale. And slowly open your eyes, hands on your knees, and start to rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. Inhale. And exhale. And reverse. Keep breathing. Still lengthen your spine here and slowly bring it back to the center. Now elevate your shoulders and then bring it down. Inhale, lift and exhale down. And two, and last one. And now roll your spine, chin to chest, cat and core in sitting position. And then articulate your spine, chest open and look towards the front. Look up if you can. And keep breathing here, roll your spine. Again, articulate, chest open. And two, And last one, open and back to the center each vertebra at a time. Show your hips, open your arm to the side, shoulders down and lengthen your arms here. I want you to start, I want you to, start to rotate your wrist so your palms facing up to the ceiling and then bring it down and lift and down and up and three, two, now last one. Now inhale and lift your arms all the way up. Interlace your fingers here and reach your arms up and down. In three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your hands down. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse. Now you need to allow yourself to bring your hands on opposite knee. Open your shoulder to the back and to the other side. And back to the center, articulate your spine and look up, hold it here for three. Slightly engage your core here, two. And last one, round your spine, chin to chest. Hold it here for three, two. And one slowly back to the center. Now, I want you to open your arms to the side one more time. And flex your wrist here. Now slowly push your arms to one side. To keep your arms parallel to the floor and to your opposite side and back to the center and one more time here with your own breath to the other side and slowly back to the center now palms facing up and lift your arms up and soften your elbows bring it down keep breathing here with your own breath and still keep your wrist straightening here so pull the belly button in lengthen your spine still and five come back four three keep breathing and two Inhale, lift and exhale down. Now last one. And slowly bring it down, hands on your knees. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, come to lay all the way down on your back. So lift your legs up to 90 degrees here. Activate your feet. Now keep your knees at 90, your hips at 90 here. Pull the belly button in and back in neutral position. You can put your hands under your 
your lower back to make sure that you don't arch your back so if you can put your whole hand inside and that means you are arching and we don't want that so just bring it back and press your back down just not all the way down just in the middle here and then arms along your body now hips in neutral I wanted to activate your feet bring one leg down and lengthen your upper leg opposite leg and then come back to the other side and back to the center 10 times here each side with your own breath so inhale and exhale keep the same angle on your knee when you move your leg further away from your hips so keep breathing activate your feet very good and seven come back to the other side six pull the belly button in squeeze in your thighs and try to lengthen your leg all the way up to the ceiling and five keep breathing four belly button in really stabilize your hips and engage your core here three very good two and last one lengthen come back to the other side and back to the center and hands down legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and keep your feet together here now lift your heels up open your knees wider start to make a little pulse with your knees here so five four three two one and slowly back to the center open one more time five four three two one little pulse and come back and last time and slowly bring your knees back to the center lift your legs up one more time activate your feet now inhale and slowly lengthen both legs to the front and then come back to modify it and to make it easier you can just do each leg at a time and keep breathing here with your own breath so make sure you stabilize your hips your whole arms press down to the mat your shoulder blades down shoulders far away from your ears and six come back to the other side and five inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth inhale and exhale and to the other side and four belly button in keep breathing three so make sure you always keep your back in neutral position especially when you do both legs at a time because it's gonna be so much more challenging here so keep breathing and three belly button all the way in two Feel your lower belly working at the same time. Now last one. And slowly bring your legs down. Shake your hips. Open your legs a bit apart. One foot distant from your heel to your hips here. And then press your feet down, arms along your body here. Now I want you to tuck the tailbone forward and draw your hips all the way up. Now this time inhale, lift your heels up and slowly bring your heels down 10 times with your own breath. So keep breathing, inhale up. Exhale down, reach your hands towards your heels. And then come back in nine keep breathing eight belly button in try to lift your hips a little bit higher seven and six five four three keep breathing two and last one lift and slowly draw your hips all the way down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready lift your legs up to 90 degree again now this time dorsiflex with your feet and now inhale i want you to slowly bring your hands up towards your heels here now inhale lengthen both legs to the front and lift your legs up and then down and bend so keep breathing 10 times here with your own breath now inhale lift lengthen and lift and down and bend engage your core as much as possible here so make sure you always pull the belly button towards the spine to keep your back in neutral position and to support your lower back very good seven always keep your feet dorsi flex here six don't have to bring your legs too low just really listen to your back and keep breathing five four belly button in three inhale and exhale two very good and last one lengthen lift and down and slowly hug your knees to your chest shut your hips inhale deeply to your nose and you can rotate your ankles here if you need to and then reverse exhale deeply to your mouth all right and now the next movement just lengthen your legs all the way up open your arms to the side and press your whole shoulder blades down dorsi flex with your feet and open your legs and then come back and nine belly button in eight 
seven, keep breathing. And six more times with your own breath. Five. Inhale, open. And exhale, come back. Four. Three. Lengthen. Squeeze your thighs to bring it back to the center. And use your breath to control the movement here. Now, last one. Inhale. And exhale. And slowly bring your legs down. Bring your feet down, shake your hips here. Now I want you to inhale and lift your head up, your shoulders up. Use your hand to support your head. Open your elbows wider here. Now I want you to inhale, keep on fist distance from your chin to your chest. Now slowly press your feet down, stabilize your hips and inhale. Exhale, reach your torso up and ex inhale, bring it down. So exhale, re reach and down and 10, 9, Eight. Exhale every time you lead. Seven. Keep breathing. Open your elbows wider. Six. And five. Always keep the same distance from your chin to your chest. And use your shoulder to lead the movement. Three. Two. Feel your six back abs are burning here. And last one. And slowly bring your whole torso down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, just lift your arms all the way up to the ceiling, palms facing each other. And now I want you to inhale, open your arms, shoulders apart. Now slowly lift your heels up, inhale your core here, pull the belly button in. Now if you're a beginner, just lift one leg up at a time and then come back to the other side. If you want to make it more challenging, just lift both legs up at a time. And make sure when you do that, you have to control your hips, stabilize your hips here. And every movement starts from your hips. So your legs moving, only your legs are moving here. Your whole torso, your arms, and your hips just stay the same and at the same position. So keep breathing, inhale, and exhale, or you can reverse the breath if it's easier. Exhale, lift, inhale, down. Activate your feet all the time. Pull the belly button in, really feel your whole hips and core working here. And three, keep breathing, two, and last one. And back to the center and slowly bring your feet down, arms down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, open your arms to the side again. Open your legs up to 90 degree here. And now press your whole shoulder blades down to the mat. Activate your feet. Make sure you keep your hips 90 degrees for more challenge with your abs here. So inhale, bring both legs to one side. Feel your oblique is twisting. Come back to the other side. And use the breath to control the movement. So inhale to one side. Exhale back to the center. Inhale to your opposite side. And exhale, come back to the center. I'm going to do it eight more times each side here with your own breath. Keep breathing. Seven. Really pull the belly button in. And always keep the same angles on your knees and your hips. Six. Inhale. And exhale, come back. And five, press your whole shoulder blades down to the other side. Only bring your legs to the point that your shoulder blades do stick to the mat. And four, to the other side. Three, keep breathing. Two, inhale. And exhale, come back to your right. Come back to the center. And last one. And the very last one here, to your left, to the other side, and slowly back to the center and bring your legs down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now you're going to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees again. And now inhale slowly, bring, open your arms facing up to the ceiling, your palms facing up to the ceiling here. Now you're going to inhale and slowly bring your arms up. And when you bring your arms down, just about the match, not all the way down to the floor, just open your legs with your arms here and then come back. We're gonna do it 10 times with your own breath. So keep breathing, inhale, open, nine, eight, very good. Seven, pull the belly button in and six, always activate your feet and keep the same angle on your knees and your hips here. Five, four, Three, keep breathing. Two, 
try to open as much as you can and squeeze in the thighs to bring your legs back to the center and then slowly legs down show your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready let's do the hundred movement here the very classical movement of pilates so Press your feet down one foot distance from your chin to your chest, arms along your body and lift your shoulders up. Not one fist distance here and always keep the same here. But I wanted to really lift your whole shoulders up to protect your neck more here and feel your six back abs here. So inhale, start to pumping your arms and exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. And exhale, and six more times, take with your own breath, inhale, and exhale, five, and four, and I want you to bring your legs up to 90 degrees for more challenge here, stick your lower back down to the mat, two, and last one, and slowly bring your whole torso down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to slowly bring your legs up to 90 degrees again. Now this time, open your arms to the side, shoulders down, activate your feet, and open your legs wider here. Engage your core, and I want you to slowly lengthen your legs to the side, and then come back. Now we're going to do it really slowly and use the breath to control the movement here. So keep breathing, squeeze your thighs, pull the belly button in, lengthen and then come back. Now try your best here. I want you to lengthen all the way up but if you cannot do it, it's totally fine. Really listen to your body and do what you feel. A little bit challenging but then also feel good at the same time. So keep breathing and seven, pull the belly button in back in neutral position and really engage your core here. Hips neutral, very good. And five, lengthen and come back slowly with control again, inhale. And exhale, three, two, very good. Now last one, lengthen and come back and slowly bring your legs back to the center. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, rotate your ankles and then reverse. Exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, now you want to allow yourself to lift your arms up just above the floor and palms facing up to the ceiling here. So I want you to feel the gravity on your arms here. Pull the belly button in and lift your legs up to 90 degree here. Now inhale and start to rotate your wrist. So even we don't move your arm, we still feel like it's, it's working here. So keep breathing and reverse. And now I want you to inhale, dorsiflex flex with your feet here. Start to make a little pull, squeeze your arms. So 10, 9, 8, belly button in. And 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now bend your knee, bend your elbows here. So keep your arms at 90 degree here. Now I want you to inhale and slowly lift it up and down. Make a little pulse again. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and five, four, three, two, and one. Now, rotate your arms so your arms facing your hands towards the knees here. And I want to engage your core. Lift your arms up and then back and up. So we don't have to go all range of the motion, but I want you to try and keep breathing and listen to your body here. So pull the belly button in. Really rotate your whole shoulders when you rotate your arms. Keep breathing and five, four. Three, squeeze your thighs at the same time to contract your pelvic floor muscle and pull the belly button in. The last one, now rotate to the opposite way and then come back. And nine, eight, seven, keep breathing, six, and five, four. If you want to challenge your core more, just lengthen your legs to the front. Three, very good. Two, and last one and slowly bring your arms down. Shake your hips, rotate your ankles again, reverse, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to lift your head off the mat one more time. 
Press your feet down. Now this time use your hand to support your head here. And now open your elbows wider. Now engage your core and keep on feet distance from your chin to your chest. Now inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale, reach your heel towards your chest and lift your shoulder a little bit higher towards the knee and then come back to the other side. And make sure you exhale every time you reach up. So 10 times each side here with your own breath. And let's start. 10, come back, activate your feet. And 9 to your left, engage your core. Stick your hips down to the mat, stabilize your hips here. 8, pull the belly button in. 7, to the other side. And six, keep breathing. Inhale and exhale, lift. And five, open your elbows wider all the time. Shoulders far away from your ears. And try to reach your whole torso up so you're gonna really feel your six back abs again. Keep breathing. Four, to the other side. Three, and two, to your right. Now last one, reach. And one more time, to your opposite side. And slowly bring your torso down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. Very good. And when you're ready, I want you to lift your legs up to 90 degree again. Now rotate your ankle and then reverse fully to four directions and activate plantar flex with your feet here. Open your arm to the side again and lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling. Now this time engage your core and bring your legs just down a little bit like 70, 60 degrees from the floor here. Open your leg to the side and then come back. Engage your core. And if you feel that like you, your core is strong enough that you can really hold your torso stabilized here, you can open your arms and keep your arms parallel to your legs and open it at the same time. So keep breathing and again, not bring your arms all the way down to the floor. Just lead it just above the floor to feel the gravity. So keep breathing here. Eight, come back, seven, inhale, and exhale, six, belly button in, and five, squeezing the thighs to so bring it back to the center, four, inhale, and exhale, three, two, and last one, and keep it here. I want you to bend your knees, and then bend your elbows, your hands towards the head, and your legs towards the front, now slowly engage your core, and Move your whole legs and arms to your opposite way. So your arms still parallel to the floor and then come back into your car here. So do it really slowly so you can really feel your hips working, your belly button in to protect your lower back and don't arch your back in this movement. And make sure your arms still off the mat and just above the mat here to feel the gravity. Your hips working, your hips in neutral and pull the belly button in. Now if you feel like you cannot really keep your back in neutral position here then just feel free to do one leg at a time and then change to the other side. We're going to do it three more times with your own breath. So inhale and exhale. Come back. Two, really engage your core. Shoulder blades down, shoulders far away from your ears. And last one, last one to the other side and slowly close your arms, close your legs and use your hands to hug your knees, chin to chest, rotate your ankles, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to lengthen your legs up, activate your feet here and then open your arm to the side one more time. Now open your legs wider and then start to I want you to dorsiflex with your feet here and start to make a little pose here. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly bend your knees, hug your knees to your chest. Show your hips and put your feet down. Open your legs a bit apart here. Now I want you to slowly draw your hips all the way up. Now keep your hips stabilized here and start to rotate your hips from left to right. Inhale and exhale. Keep breathing here with your own breath. And five, four, slowly press your feet down, your knees still facing up to the ceiling when you do this. Four, three, two, and last one. And slowly back to the center and draw your hips down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. 
Very good. Now you want to allow yourself to keep your feet together and then lift your heels up, activate your feet and arms along your body here. Now slowly lift your legs up to 90 degree here and now engage your core, lengthen your legs, bring both legs down to the front and then come back. So make sure you engage your core, listen to your body and again, just feel free to do each leg at a time is, is easier for you. Try to lengthen your legs or if you soften your knees, just make sure you keep the same angle on your knees and every movement start from your hips. Now arms along your body, your whole shoulder blades down to the mat to protect it. So keep breathing, inhale and exhale, pull the belly button in and five. And you don't have to go solo, really listen to your body and only go to the point that you feel like your back is still in neutral position and then come back. So keep breathing, inhale and exhale and three and back to the center two in the last one and slowly hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready I want you to rotate your torso and lay all the way down on your stomach now lengthen your legs here, open your legs here with a pad and then bring your make a pillow under your forehead here. So shoulders far away from your ears and activate your feet. I want you to inhale and lift your whole legs up to the ceiling here. Pull the belly button in and hip bones down to the mat. So make sure that your hips still stabilize here and engage your core to protect your lower back. Start to beat your heels together and 10, 9, 8, seven six and five four three two and last one slowly bring your legs down now inhale and lift one leg up open to the side and then bring it down and then bring it up and back to the center now lift and down and up and back to the center we're gonna do it one side first so keep breathing here very good and seven six pull the belly button in always make sure your shoulders far away from your ears five and four inhale and exhale halfway three very good two now last one and slowly bring it down to your opposite side so again lift it up open to the side leg down and leg up and back to the center Keep breathing here with your own breath. Pull the belly button in. Make sure that you don't have to lift your legs so high. Really listen to your body. And seven, six, five. Engage your core as much as possible. Always keep your foot activated. Four, and three, two. Now last one. And slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and then bend your knees here open your knees wider keep your feet together here now when you slowly activate your feet and lift both legs up at the same time and then come back again listen to your body if you're a beginner just lift one leg at a time and then to the other side and make sure when you do that really pull the belly button towards the spine here keep breathing with your own breath now 10 more times here lift and down squeeze your booty muscles here keep the same angle on your knees if you can it really engage your core don't have to lift so high really listen to your body seven six shoulders far away from your ears and five four three two in the last one lift and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready tuck your feet here put your forearms in front of your chest here i wanted to hold your shoulders on top of your elbows and press your whole forearms down to the mat shoulder far away from your ears engage your core and lift your hips up lift your whole body up come to forearm plank here and then bend your knees down and then lengthen and down and lengthen we're gonna do it eight more times with your own breath seven 
six. Make sure you don't arch your back, lengthen your spine, lengthen your torso, stabilize your hips here. Your whole torso stabilized at the same time, only your knees going up and down. Very good. And four. Belly button in. Three. Look towards the middle of your fingers here. Two. And the last one. And slowly allow your lie all the way down on your belly again. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, I want to slowly interlace your fingers all the way towards the back. Engage your core and then slowly lift your torso up. And exhale, bring it down, rotate your head to one side. And then lift it all the way up into your opposite side. So keep breathing here with your own breath. Belly button in. And seven. Inhale, reach to the other side. Six. Keep breathing. And five, very good, four, three, use your whole arms to pull your torso up and pull the belly button in all the time, squeeze your body muscles, squeezing the thighs too. And the last one, lift and down to the other side and slowly bring your whole arms down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. Hands over your head. All right, now slide back to make sure your shoulders far away from your ears here. I want you to inhale and lift one arm and opposite leg up, and exhale, bring your whole shoulders and your arms down, your head down with your arms, your neck down, and your legs down too. So keep breathing, inhale, and exhale. Opposite arm and leg, and then down, try to reach a little bit further. Really lengthen your whole arm and leg here to the opposite way. And keep breathing. Feel like someone pulling your leg away from your hips and your arms away from your shoulders. So really engage. Inhale and exhale. And eight to the other side. Seven. Pull the belly button in. If you want more challenge, just lift both legs up and arms up at the same time here and six keep breathing pull the belly button all the way in and again don't have to lift so high really listen to your body so keep breathing five squeeze your booty activate your feet and reach your arms higher really lengthen your whole spine four belly button in lengthen your neck always look down to the mat and don't look towards the front just lengthen your neck here to protect your neck so two, very good. And last one, inhale and exhale. And one more time here, with your own breath and slowly bring your whole torso down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, rotate your ankles and then reverse. And allow yourself to lie all the way down. I mean, come back to try pose. Reach your hands forward. Open your knees wider if you want to stretch your back more. Shut your hips here. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. And walk your hands to one side. To your opposite side. Keep breathing. And back to the center. Now, if you can, look towards the front. But if you cannot, totally fine. Just look down to the mat. And slowly change the chest roll each vertebra at a time to sitting position. Cross your leg. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions here. And open your arms to the side here, shoulders far away from your ears. Now inhale, rotate your torso to one side and then come back to the other side. Your whole arms go with your torso here. So keep breathing, to keep your arms parallel to the floor and soften your elbows if you need to. So three, to the other side, two, belly button in, to your opposite side, and last one, to the other side, and slowly back to the center, and hands down, rotate your shoulders fully to four directions, and reverse, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth, and now I wanted to rotate your head around your neck, inhale halfway, exhale halfway, and one more round here, slowly with your breath, no reverse. 
and slowly bring it back to the center. Rotate your head to one side. To lengthen your spine, your torso facing forward. And then to your opposite side. And back to the center. And then bring your head to your left, to your right. And back to the center. Look down to the mat. And look up. And back to the center again. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions here. And reverse. Rotate. Interlace your fingers and rotate your wrist. And reverse. And slowly bring it down. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. One more deep breath. And exhale. And that's the work of today. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'm going to see you tomorrow on day 23. Bye.